is ready. Oh, well, I thought you were made in mm. Australia. No, yeah. I was made in Cebu. Cebu. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a plan B? Did you say, okay, let's try it out in Australia. If it doesn't work out, then maybe let's move to the United States. Did you have a plan B or you just knew instantly that Australia was the place for you when you got there? Yeah, the latter. We um, decided, anyway, I, that's how I felt, that Australia would be a good country to be because it's a young country. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, compared to America, America is already uh, old <laughs> by comparison. Uh -huh. So Australia was our uh, decision. So big, yeah, big mom, did you have a hard time? Like, did you miss your friends and the of dancing? Of course. No. You did not have a hard time because you already contacted an accounting office and it was already accepted. Uh -huh. So as soon as we arrived, he was started working. But what about yeah. your dancing? Yeah, your adjustment. I have a difficult time. I don't have maids. I said, <laughs> and the oh, children yeah, said, yes. Mom, bring all the maids, Mom, please. No, no, we cannot. We are not allowed. Yes, yes. I didn't know how to work, to so tell you the truth. You I didn't know, know how, how to, work? to work. I didn't know how to press clothes. I was telling the maids, paano ba pagplancha ng mga <laughs> shirt ni Mr. Oh, oh, <laughs> I don't know how to do that. So you had to about, learn. You what about to, cooking? I didn't know how to cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing. So what happened? You learned? You had or to the learn. children the children cooked? <laughs> the very first meal, you buy corned beef. <laughs> 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 but you never worked in Australia, yeah. right? You never did work. Or you did work for a while. Well did in you Australia. work in Australia? In Australia? No. Yeah, I did a little work, but it was only temporary. See, Big Dad is got a job with an accounting firm because he's a certified public accountant. Uh -huh. yeah. wow. In fact, he taught in the University of Santo Tomas for 10 years, right? Accounting? Yeah, ah. I actually graduated from Far Eastern University. Yes. Far Eastern. And uh, one time, Dean Belen Gutierrez at the time mm -hmm. uh, invited me to, uh, to teach yes. in FEU. So I started teaching there at her invitation. And after a while, I said, I have only a few hours teaching. I might as well utilize more of the hours. So I went to UST, mm -hmm. and I uh, applied to teach. So I, I was teaching in FEU and in UST. Oh, were you a strict teacher? Uh, yes, I'm so sure. <laughs> I what? don't have to know. He's a, he's a strict uh, father and grandfather, so I'm sure he was a strict teacher. <laughs> are, you a, are you a strict husband? Strict husband? Yes. Not really. Um, I just want uh, orderliness. That's all. <laughs> he actually likes her dressing sexy. Oh, yeah. really? So yeah. is he? He's not a strict husband. Strict. Yes. Strict. In what way? Like clothes. Um, clothes. Like if you want to go dancing, he won't let you uh, dance. Or I don't think so. Oh, we were quite liberal, as your mother <laughs> uh, would uh, attest to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So how, how is, what do you do? What do you do in Australia? Like you wake up, what's the weather like? Beautiful weather all the time. So cool. <laughs> yeah, even if it's summer, winter, yeah. It's cool and if it's winter, yeah. it's not too cold. Yeah. yeah so out yeah. of their nine children, yeah. uh, of eight children, all six are there scattered around Australia. So they have a lot of, of grandchildren and great grandchildren too. Oh, how, yes. how, how many great grandchildren do you have? Now, yes. Oh, we just, we were just trying to memorize it. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> but we grandchildren did. first. Eighteen. Okay, yeah. grandchildren. 20. How many? I think earlier on the show, um, before we went on break, they showed some photos, photos yeah. of uh, your family. Yeah. So yeah, we can we, we can show them now. So twenty-two grandchildren. Okay, who are these? That's uh, Mitzi and Joseph. Okay. Yeah. Next and that photo. that's that in, that's in Australia. Yeah. This is actually just last week. This is in Tagaytay. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's also in Tagaytay. This is this is James and Charlotte, the two youngest great grandchildren that they have. That's wow. Charlotte's birthday party with Michelle. Yeah. That's Alexis in the middle and Monica in the end. That's the other girl was um, their other daughter Marissa. Mm -hmm. That's, that's Michael. Michael. That's our eldest son, Michael. So your children married son. Filipinos or no, no, no. We are international. International. Okay. <laughs> we have one English, one German, <laughs> one Croatian, uh, one um, Greek, uh, Greek, Ooh. and uh, one from 
Scottish, Scottish yeah. girl. Scotland, yeah. 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 What else? The English, did we mention English? Yeah. Well, the only wow. ones that married Filipinos are the eldest three. Yeah. Which were my mom, um, Tita Milet, and Tita Michael. Tita Everyone Michael. Else, yeah, yeah. That's right. Did you see that? You, you were did your homework. Your... <laughs> no, actually, no. Um, I'm just uh, like right. figuring it out right now. As and you out. didn't go out of town with them to the Gaitai. Who was this? Because that's my brother mm -hmm. and um, his wife. They're, they live in Sacramento and his, their two children. The eldest. That's grandson. Trisha. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's number six grandchild, I think. Grandchild, grandchild. grandchild only. Grandchild, Ooh, yeah. yeah. That's Trisha's children. Those are so the, the great, great grandchildren. grandchildren. And you were saying how many great grandchildren? Trisha. 18? 18. How many great grandchildren? 18 great grandchildren. 18, yeah, 18. Great grandchildren? Yes. Yeah, yes. 18, 18 out 18. of 22 so grandchildren. Do you think it's good that your grandchildren and your great grandchildren are growing up in Australia? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. The opportunity is yeah. much, much more better. Yeah. And Not all 18 live here. in Australia, though. Mm -hmm. Like among the great grandchildren, probably yeah. two, well, Probably ten live in the Philippines, and oh, okay. yeah. like two live in California. In London, yeah. Two live in London. London, yeah. And, and Christian has got no baby yet, but yeah. he really wants to go back to Australia. He he's not as happy as in Australia. He said <laughs> he really wants. He was just there Christian during the christening, mm -hmm. but he said I want to come back as soon as possible. So Christian his wife lives in London is also, and he tends to go yeah, back to Australia. His wife is from Poland. She's yes. very pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is, Magda. You right? have met her? No, so, no, from the photo. So do you, yeah. what do you do there? You, do you go sailing? I mean, do you walk around in the park? Oh, uh, yeah. What's mm -hmm. the shopping like? The, well, the malls yeah. on, in Australia are open late till Thursdays. And every day... Why on a Thursday? Midweek. The right? uh, markets yeah. uh, are usually open uh, on Thursdays, yeah. uh, Thursday nights. What's is, late? How late is late? 9 p.m.? Only oh. until about, yeah, between 9, 9 and 10. Right, so that's the day we want to go shopping. We, <laughs> only have, yes. we, have, we don't have it here, no. budget. Every day here the people day. are shopping. I said, what? what yeah, do you every do day. That? Yeah. Because yeah. if not, the, no, the we, close at 6 p.m. We, we oh. only have the Thursday night shopping. Thursday night. Yeah, before and we don't even have the Saturday shopping. Really? It's only now that yeah. we have Saturday shopping. And then um, if it doesn't close at 9, what time does it close? Six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock. Very early. Before, at about five, six, stores are all closed. Yeah, so we're all like yeah. rushing out. It's only now that they've changed the laws. That so up More to shopping. nine o'clock sometimes. What yeah. do they do together? They go yes. walking every they day go together walking, for exercise. exercise. So, what's your secret in keeping healthy? I mean. We're talking about 65 years of being married. Of being but, married, yeah. But right like now, Big Daddy still drives and Big Mommy still does her household chores. What yeah. was your secret in staying healthy all these years? Big all Mommy, you go years. first. First of all, thank God. Yes. Yeah, we have a very good life. Yes. And then Australia, early in the morning, we have, I said, we have to walk, walk. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, we have to walk for an hour. Every day. Yeah, an hour, for our huh? health. They we can have outwalk been, my mom. We have, been we have been walking for how many years now? Uh -huh. Ever since. Yeah. Ever since. Yeah. Yeah. Ever, Ever since, since you moved to Australia? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not the first few years, but uh, thereafter. And the pollu there's no pollution there? Hmm? Uh, Big Daddy loves the fact that it's so clean. Yeah. Yeah. He's Very like a stickler for yeah. clean. So we live, we live in condominiums, and from the top, you can actually see, see the, the film yeah. of pollution. You can actually see it. Hmm. Yeah from our top floors. Well, we don't have that yet uh -huh. <laughs> in Sydney. We've had it for a long time. The, the smog, I think it's called the smog. Yes. So uh, we have clean air, fresh, clean air, not yet polluted, mm -hmm. but it might be going towards that way because there are getting to be more cars running on the yeah. streets. Yes, yes. That's the cause of the pollution. Mm -hmm. How and many cars? So. Yeah. So, so that's the secret. What, other secrets to staying healthy that people what out about, there might want to know. What about food? What kind of food do you eat? Well, as much as possible. Fresh, isn't it? That's your area, Lee. <laughs> 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 yes, if possible, we have, I have to cook something for the children. You know, fruits, uh, we always have the fruits. And there's a lot of fruits. But I have noticed that there are more fruits here, here. in the Philippines. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, a lot. Yes. Yeah, you so don't like the cher cherries, the lanzones, you've got everything here. Yes. 
Yeah. But the cherries here are very expensive. Yeah, but what are the, the fruits yeah. in Australia? Yeah, they, they kiwi. Yeah. What yeah, fruits do you have there? Kiwi and yeah, everything. You they have mango apples. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those big ones. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. We have two mango trees. Yeah. In their own yard. Yeah. In your house. On our front yard. We planted it oh. right oh, last yard. year. Front yard. Last year it gave us a lot of mangoes, but this year I was counting two there. To the <laughs> one mango. I said, what happened? Is it the climate change? I, I was blaming the climate change. We don't know. Didn't you plant a calamansi tree? In yeah, we house? have a lot of calamansi yeah. trees. Now, yeah. Yeah. We, call, we call it kumquat. Yes, kumquat. kumquat. We call yeah. it kumquat. kumquat tree, yeah. So we just go out and yeah. get there. It, it, is yeah. it, does it turn, because the kumquat, it, you, it turns orange, right? Calamansi is really green. No, kum, kumquat yeah. is calamansi. Yeah, yeah, but no, this is really green. This but is really yeah. calamansi. The and it's sour? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it's sour. The Aussies do oh, yeah. not know how to use it. I said, it's our la lemon. Australians. I said, it's yeah. our lemon <laughs> in the Philippines. Yes, yes. And I would tell them, you just put sugar and... We can drink well, it, yeah. They, st they still like lemon. We have a lemon tree, we have an orange tree, we have kumquat, and right. then we have the mango tree. <laughs> so if that's your secret to staying healthy, what is what was the secret in staying together for 65 years? Um, live healthy. You know, by living healthy, by living healthy in a healthy way, health-wise, mm -hmm. uh, we don't abuse, uh, for example, alcoholic drinks. Yes. We both drink red wine. We, have, yes. we love red but wine. We limit, we limit ourselves to about. <laughs> Half a glass yeah, like each. That, yeah. <laughs> Half a glass a day. Mm. Only at, yeah. night. Only at usually night. Usually at night. So you drink together our at dinner. night. Half a glass. Yeah. Wine, Before yeah. our dinner. Mm -hmm. Every night. Yeah. Every night you have so a glass of wine. Every night, yeah. And by the way, they pray the rosary every night before really? sleeping. Yeah. yeah, without fail through of the course. years. We promise I, our. That's the secret. Yeah. 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 We, we promise our Lady of Fatima when we, we went to Fatima that we will pray the rosary every day. Really. And and, that's a must. Yeah. yeah, and by the way, Big Dad has been a cantor in the church for since 1970, right? Mm. Are there, he, he sings there for the for mass. Yeah, are there many Filipinos in, yeah. in Australia? There, Quite there many now. Many, yeah. Yeah. And many. when you go to mass, when we first uh, arrived 1970, yeah, just a few. But now we see a lot of Filipinos lot. here. I actually went to a church in California, and. There yeah, were Filipinos. so many Filipinos, yeah. and they started Singing. to sing in Tagalog. <laughs> yeah. You know, the Amanamin and everything. Yeah. So Tagalog. Yeah. I was like, yeah. this is just like being in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. That is, I, I noticed that. I said, yeah. oh, so many Filipinos here in California. It's because yeah. the Filipinos are very yeah. religious. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Big Daddy would sing, not with a choir, alone, solo. Really? <laughs> yeah, every single time. Oh, I wish I could hear that. Yeah. <laughs> and one good thing about Australia, if you reach the age of pension, yes. you have we have our pension. Oh. Really? Yeah. How much? <laughs> Sixty-five. Actually, generous. It's a generous, generous pension. Amount. What is yeah. the ex yeah. what is the exchange we are able rate? To live, uh, comfortably with the pension. Mm -hmm. What's the exchange rate right now? A Philippine peso to Aus to Aussie dollars. The oh, the convert the yes, equivalent. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, um, let's see. One Australian mom? dollar. You have to ask your mom. Mom, what is it? <laughs> One dollar is how many pesos? Forty. Four, Forty pesos. Forty, yeah. Ah, so yeah. it's almost like the U.S. dollar. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Yeah, you know, it used to be like when I was a kid, like fourteen went up to sixteen, went up to twenty-six, yeah. and, then and now 40. it's forty. It's, yeah, it's pricey 40 now. Yeah. So what do you miss here in the Philippines that you don't have there? I know coconut, right? What are the three um, seeds well, that we, you we, love, Big you can, we, I can buy it from the Chinese shop. This is a frozen oh. coconut. Like yeah. juice? Juice yeah. and yeah. the Yeah, with the juice and is it the a, same little, a little coconut, a few pieces of coconut sometimes. Because um, the coconut yeah. abroad, I mean, sometimes it's like really so sweet. Yeah. And it tastes, uh, it tastes a little fake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Compared to the coconut yeah. here in the Philippines. Yeah, it's not the same you as You had the three seeds, right? You had castanhas, coconut, and... Corn. And corn. <laughs> and corn. corn yeah. What kind? Do you like native corn or do you like sweet corn? corn yeah, well, we have already corn. sweet corn in yeah, Australia corn. now. Yeah. I like native corn. Yeah. But hey, Daddy, what do you miss? She about was the, the one that, that um, you were talk, telling me the story about the castanhas. What about the, the castanhas? Or she, she really wanted it and somebody ate it? 
No, that was oh. me. <laughs> no, that was like peanuts. That was peanuts. <laughs> Big Daddy, what do you miss? Like, what food stuff do you miss, miss here in the Philippines that you don't get there? That uh, we don't have there. Yes. I think they're all available there now. There are yeah. a lot of Filipino stores. Yeah, yeah there yeah. are also Filipino stores. But yesterday I ordered Dinuguan. Yeah. Oh, I enjoyed it. Oh, halo <laughs> halo. Dinuguan and halo halo. Yeah, and halo, halo. Well, we Filipino go to a Filipino stores. store and they serve us halo halo. What that was five dollars last year. You know, maybe now it's six dollars seven dollars six dollars for one glass for one mm. order yeah very expensive yes, we find yes. it sometimes marisa marilyn me we are all sharing in one glass of halo halo <laughs> we are all laughing <laughs> marisa by the way is um the, the prankster in the family like one time big mom and big dad arrived from a trip and she decides that they all look like paupers <laughs> right so they meet in the airport and Tatay, tatay, like wearing really ugly Embar clothes. They got to embarrass own us. Clothes. Just to embarrass, and he was just like walking, and he's like, I can't even see them. And like, dirty, dirty. And then she was just like, no, God, stop it, stop it. <laughs> so, so we do that. When someone arrives, That's we so just nice dress up like, in, or, she, or she sits like in Chinatown, and she sits down like this, and they start picking fights in fake Chinese. <laughs> and then everyone's like staring, and they're all embarrassed. And, <laughs> so it's, it's a fun family. Yeah, it's really no, crazy. but that's that's what's good when you have a big family. I yeah. mean, you have all these oh, you know yeah. stories to tell. That's right. Uh, Marisa is the comic in the yeah, family. Yeah, she's uh -huh. the comic. And she lives there. Oh yeah, yes. she lives yes. there. So how often do you see them? Um, they they actually come and visit every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Almost. So yeah. usually during Christmas time. Well, it is her mommy's birthday. Yes, yeah, they yes. came for my mom's birthday. We know that yeah, she has a, there, she birthday, has a lechon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see how the lechon just carried on? Big mommy's love for lechon even during the war. To my mom's Until love now, for yeah. lechon. Like and then, three from yes, and they had to go home because it was wartime, but they still yeah. had to eat lechon before they went yeah. home yes. after classes. <laughs> to my love for lechon, I, I guess it's... That's one thing yes. that's going to get passed down to the generation. So do you like the lechon here? Do you like the lechon in Cebu more? Yeah, yeah especially the lechon in Cebu. In Cebu and you don't need any sauce? No, no, no. Just plain <laughs> vinegar. <laughs> Del Monte. Ah, Del Monte plain? Yeah. Just yeah, ah, no, no more salt, Monte, no, no bawang, no, no, no nothing. nothing. It's, it's good. It's Yum. good already. I'm so hungry. Do you see yourself, before we go, before we end the show, do you see yourselves ever moving back here to the Philippines or do you think Australia is the place that you're really going to just settle in? Well, um, we think that uh, where we are is one of the best places in the world to live mm -hmm. and die. Yeah. Right. So we're going to um, die there mm -hmm. and right. be buried there, buried there. Uh, although some Filipinos I know, they want to be buried back in the Philippines. Yes, yes, I know. Yeah. yeah. So and then uh, what advice would you like to give? me as a, as a married woman and cutie as a soon-to-be married woman, mm, lady. Well, <laughs> I, first, for you as a married woman, my advice is to always have yourself and your husband facilitate communication with one another. Mm -hmm. Communication is very important. Yes. And then understanding. You know, yes. it's like I'm listening to a priest talk to me. <laughs> okay. Well, they are, they are very holy. In fact, they make groceries. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Big okay. Daddy makes groceries, and yeah. he they give it to to the to church. The church right? Yeah, he gives it to, and the, to the poor. And to the poor. Oh. How so blessed. before, when our groceries used to get busted, oh, just bring it to Australia. Big Daddy can <laughs> fix it. <laughs> no, but that's really the secret. Why? Why you're really so blessed? It's because you have the Lord in the center of your life. That's right. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think um, to be truly devoted yes. to God yes. and to the Blessed Virgin Mary yes. and um, maintain the duties as um, the son and daughter of our Blessed Mother. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Big Dad and Big Mom, for coming on the show. We know that you just arrived from Sydney and you are leaving for Cebu in the morning. So you took time off from your very busy eating schedule. Thank <laughs> you, Dad and Big Mom. Thank you.
my <laughs> idol. <laughs> So, so we'll see you guys next week on She Said, She Said. Yes, have a nice evening. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. gentlemen we're on the she said she said show and tonight we have a very good friend of uh, QT my co-host and uh, I'd also like to be close to him but we have one of the freshest faces in show business he is a an actor a model and uh, he has a daily morning show which I don't get to watch because it's a little too early and uh, he's here with us JM Rodriguez and she said that he is the only guy that she calls bro and when they did Grease together in uh, 1995, they became the best of friends. And she said, his face is really artista. Right? Pang artista. <laughs> Talaga! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, J.M. Rodriguez. Good. Juan Miguel Rodriguez. Good evening, girls. Juan Thank Miguel. you for having me here. Finally, I get yeah, to finally. guest on my uh, best friend show. Yes, I know. We always talk about you. Really? So it's like, uh, <laughs> even if you're not here, you're here in our hearts. I All mean, right. I, I know many things about you. Do I? <laughs> yeah, it's only because you have a morning show. So, so JM here hosts a, a morning show. Yeah, like six, five, From six. From six to eight in the morning, it's called One Morning. It's yes. on three channels, mm -hmm. on NBN, IBC, and RPN. That's from Monday to Friday. Which requires you to Woo. be up at what time? I'm up at uh, 5 in the morning. Yeah. See? Now this party... You're I'm up at 5 in the morning yes. or 5 p.m.? No, no, no. I'm up at <laughs> 5 in the morning. That, that's a secret. That's a secret, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I just go straight and then I sleep after. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but since I found out we were taping a little bit later, yes. I figured I'd sleep the night before. Yeah, see? Us. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> this party animal used to go to bed at 5 a.m. We used to go to bed at 5 a.m. every day, right, including right. Sundays. Now he's getting up at 5 a.m. to go to work. You gotta change your lifestyle for work. And That's I true. think, you know, I'm getting a little bit old, so I gotta take uh, everything a little, a bit, little more bit more seriously. seriously. But the, party, uh, the partying's still there, so. Yeah, he, he, okay, so that'll there's never a disconnect. disappear. Your schedule is like, <laughs> if you do a 6 o'clock show, you have to be there like 5. 5 30. 5 30. Yeah. And then you For the end. first time in his life, he had to get a driver. We never had drivers yeah, our whole yeah. life. We drove ourselves until we had like work. And finally, he had to succumb to getting a driver. So I so, have but a at least when you go to work, there's no traffic. Yeah, when I go to work. But going but after back, that, then it's, it's, it's really hell. traffic. So what I did was I got a driver and I sort of fixed my car and I put a bed at the back. Really? Yeah. yeah. Luckily, so, the escape can sort I of like... See. Yeah, I'll show it to you later. This uh, the escapes back and bend like this, so I actually oh, yeah. put a bend. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. it's straight. So I get to sleep for like maybe an hour and thirty minutes because it takes me um, an hour and thirty minutes to get, to get back home. to Makati. Yeah, it's from eight to nine thirty. I, I get oh, to my house gosh. at nine thirty. So yeah, you have to understand. JM loves to sleep. Yeah. Mantika mm -hmm. oh, no, I, I, I value my sleep. My sleep. I, I have to get like about nine to ten hours of sleep. Okay, every. I'm like that. Yeah. Nine to ten hours. And yeah. People always say, you know, Jackie, when you get older, it's gonna lessen and lessen. So I'm still waiting for the no, lessening and lessening because no. like nine to ten is okay for me. So I'm still waiting for it to be eight. That's what my mom not. tells me, but. It See? hasn't changed. So maybe I tried we're not to... getting old. No, we're n we're never gonna get old. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You guys yeah. are doing Benjamin Button. So reverse. Why? How how reverse. many hours do you sleep? I know, cause she doesn't sleep. You know when I, I know, don't sometimes sleep, sometimes she's right? like up early. I don't know yeah, how you know when I text yeah. her after 12, yeah. like maybe 1 or she I'm answers, so she's still awake. Yeah. And, then, and then when I wake up, there's already a text from her. I said, 
this girl never sleeps. Well, she's also a light sleeper. I'm, that's my problem. So, you I'm know, a light sleeper. someone texts yeah. her and if it's not on silent mode, she'll definitely answer. Yeah. Oh, so I shouldn't say problem. that on TV, right? <laughs> yeah, so they might be texting me, <laughs> expecting me to you. reply. <laughs> okay, so and if you don't reply, I'm then... Oh, no, I can't, I can't say, oh, sorry, I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Patay. If I, Patay. If I didn't meet you through QT, then I would have just known that you were in showbiz right away. I mean, as soon as I see your face. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. That's what I told you, right? Really? Wow, thanks. Okay, so how did, because you, how did you start? How did I start? Okay, Commercial um, model. model. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Before anything else, JM used to actually be huge. I used to be 200 pounds. 200 pounds. I should have brought a picture. What? See, yeah. I did it. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. We can talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. So, 200 um, how many years ago? Okay, when I was, when I was in when high school. When we met. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 wait. When I was in grade school, I was a fat kid. Okay. And then I lost all the weight when I was in high school. First year high school, I was really thin. How? So how? Why? Running, running, running sports? Well, yeah, you know, when you grow a little bit older, you the change adolescent. Your, your age. So, not purposely? No, not purposely. Okay. I just lost weight. Well, I think I sort of went on a diet also. I remember mm -hmm. I didn't eat lunch or I, I didn't eat recess. It was one of those. I don't mm -hmm. remember anymore. But I lost weight. And then when I went to college, I slowly gained weight. First year, second year, third you got year. A good cook. When I graduated, yeah, well, because I stayed with my Lola here in Manila. Ah. When I was eating, and I was eating like McDonald's every night, mm -hmm. you know. And then I gained all the weight. I, I became 200 pounds. 200 from, pounds? From what to what? From, from maybe 130, 100. 130 to 200? It's like you got yeah. pregnant. Yeah, I was yeah. really big. Uh, and then I joined repertory, and mm -hmm. when I joined rep, I was really fat already. And at that time, no, 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 before rep, I did a play called Grease, yes. uh -huh. which is where I met Cutie. Okay. And I was met. fat already, I was playing fat roles, I played Roger. All fat roles, all the fat roles. Yeah. And even, but at least they're roles for you. Yeah, but you yeah. know what's sad about being fat and uh -huh. playing fat roles is you get to play older roles. Yeah. I, in the Fantastics, I played the father of Raymond Lauchenko. It was much who I used to watch in baguettes. Yeah. You know what I mean? So at first I was like, oh, there's something wrong here. Yeah. I'm Raymond Lauchenko's dad. <laughs> but and your mom kept telling me, come on, cutie, make JM lose, lose weight. weight. I know. And then so we kept telling him, you have to lose weight because yeah. you have such a fantastic voice mm. and you could be playing lead roles as opposed yes. to fat boy roles. Yeah, aside from right? a fantastic voice, he also has a fantastic face. No, no. But you couldn't me. tell that at the size. I, I couldn't, yeah, you couldn't really tell that he was guapo at the time. Aww. Anyway, okay. So, uh, until one glorious day, Dita Bibot decides to scream at me, like, majorly. Like, the problem with you is you're so lazy, you don't want to diet, you'll never play romantically if you don't lose weight. Like, really bad scolding. Like, mm -hmm. more than anyone has scolded me or my mom has scolded me in my life. So, one day I said, okay. So how I, wait, did that I make cried you feel? first, pala. I yeah, cried. yeah. For because how long? I said, huh? How, well, for how long did you cry? I'm just thirty minutes. <laughs> you know why? I'm not a crier. JM and I, when we feel bad, we feel bad for like thirty minutes, Tapos, and then no more. Finish. Yeah. Uh, and it's tapos na. We don't I like, let it, it all away. out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ever but when we get mad, seen. we let it out also, yeah. Yeah. which is I think really healthy. Yeah, I like right? that. I think it's healthy. Yeah. yeah. So I told myself, okay, I'm gonna go on a diet. So I started. Sige, I'll uh, take out my carbs. Mm -hmm. At that time, di pa naman uso yun, but I'm like, maybe if I don't eat rice, it'll work. No? Yes. And then parang I started losing, and then I was like, what if I stop eating dinner, you know, after six? Yeah. But I can still eat my favorite food. I was but, eating fried chicken every day. But you sleep day. so late. Every day, huh? So you have to, after six, you have to sleep eight o'clock. No. No, so we were know, out I, every night. I still That's slept why. late. So you know what I did? When you're out, with I drank diet coke. Which is so unhealthy. I yeah, wouldn't even yeah. recommend it to anyone. Actually, he had the most unhealthy way of dieting. Yeah. He has to let you know and you okay. will die. I okay. ate fried chicken, twister fries, and rice every day. Every day? Every day. day. Ooh. I was just so fat that I ate so much that fried chicken, twister fries, and rice was lesser calories than whatever I Anything was eating. Else. Yeah. Which means I was eating the fattiest yes, yes, food yes. in the world for lunch and for dinner. Yeah. And but cutting off dinner just shocked my system and I lost weight. I lost 60 pounds in four months. Oh my gosh, that's 15 pounds a month. Wait, yeah. you go out at night and that's when you're awake, like me, right. and then you right. eat and eat and eat. Right. So cutting 
dinner is like really a sacrifice. So I'd eat yeah. a late lunch. I'd eat like at 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Oh, I, that was my schedule. Because that's when he'd wake yeah, yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was my it, schedule. Yeah. So do not text him before 3 p.m. before. People would call me, how come James not answering? How come James not answering? Did you pay him? I said, it's, what time is it? Okay, if it's not after 3, then you should not be worried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but when you go out at night, what do you, like, what do you order to drink? Diet Coke. Well, I diet Coke or I also drink, pero lasing talaga ka. Okay. Yeah, but that is fattening. See, uh, alcohol is fattening. Beer is fattening. You know, fattening. for some weird reason, my sister and I also always think if it's liquid, it's okay. Sometimes she'll even have like a frappuccino, and you don't really gain weight. I don't know why, yeah, but really? for some reason, maybe you're or maybe even your if body. there's a lot of calories, your body sort of yeah, because my um, body, I don't. Yeah. Know.